story out of Bellevue that will likely have parents sitting up and taking notice. Police are investigating whether a middle school student should be charged with child pornography in a sexting case. Reporter Jake Wazikowski is live with the details and the fallout. Jake? Guys, experts say it's something society is seeing more of at younger ages. We've got tips on what parents should do and what you should talk to your kids about. Bellevue police are investigating whether or not Logan Fontenelle Middle School students should be charged with a crime in a sexting case. Earlier this month, a school staff member contacted authorities because a nude image of an underage student was being distributed to other kids. Court documents indicate a 13-year-old girl sent the image to a 13-year-old boy who then forwarded it to five Logan Fontenelle students. Elizabeth Power with the Women's Center for Advancement says parents need to have conversations with their children about healthy relationships and the dangers of sexting. And unfortunately, um, without those conversations, our children are learning from from many different resources, from friends at school, from um, you know TV shows, from movies, from what they might search or see on the internet. And those, in most cases, probably are not what we want our children to be referencing as their role models. Bellevue investigators have seized almost half a dozen cell phones from students and are awaiting results of forensic examinations. No arrests have been made for child pornography. Powers says remind your children that sexting can be considered criminal. So helping your children understand the laws. If they want to partake in this behavior, they need to understand what the legal consequences are going to be that mom and dad can't protect them from. The WCA also offers different leadership programs for young girls to talk about self-confidence and teach groups of friends the same morals and ideals. You know, sometimes reality is there might be someone in your relationship, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, who might ask for photos like this. Um, and, and they're going to have to respond without mom and dad right there with them. They're going to have to be confident enough to say, no, I don't want to do this or I don't think you know, we're ready for this. The WCA also says don't be afraid to talk to your children. It's better to have that uncomfortable conversation than them being charged with a crime. Reporting live, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now. Drivers will face lane restrictions on a major Papillion Street.